Hi, my name is Chimun Chi. Today, I'm going to present my final year project entitled Finite Viscoelastic Behavior of Oil Palm Fresh Fruits. Oil palm fresh fruit branch grading is important to ensure good quality and large quantity of production of crude palm oil and crude palm kernel oil. The FFB can be generally classified into four rhinus grades. The picture on the right side shows the four rhinus Rhinus grades of FFB. Picture A is an unripe FFB, B underripe, C ripe, and D overripe. The problem statement of this study is related to the current oil palm FFB grading method, which used human graders to inspect the FFB visually. The disadvantages of this method include inaccuracy and inconsistent evaluation result, time-consuming and tends to biased appraisal and contain human error. Due to the current grading predicts, Malaysian oil palm industries have been facing problem of grading the fruits accurately. The main objectives of this project is to study the mechanical behavior of a single oil palm fruitlet. The project started by first studying the anatomy of oil palm fruitlet and then the linear dimensions of the fruitlet were collected from previous research. The dimensions required are the length and width of the fruitlet and the diameter of the kernel. From the data collected, an average value was calculated to create the geometric axis symmetry model. Axis symmetry model was used in this study because it can reduce convergence error and thus resulting in a more accurate result. The model created was used to carry out pin puncture test, drop test, and compression test. Three different constitutive material models were used in this study, and the material parameters used in show in the table below. The next slide shows the boundary conditions defined for each model. Next, I will start to discuss the result. First, I'm going to discuss the result when varying the material parameters with different values. For linear elastic model, when elastic modulus of the muscle curve is increased, the stress displacement curve will become stiffer. On the right side, it shows that increasing the displacement boundary condition of the model would not affect the stress displacement curve significantly, but it will slightly increase the deformation. For viscous hyperelastic model, the results show that increasing the initial shear stress will make the stress displacement curve stiffer, while increasing the locking stretch constant and global interaction parameter will lower the stress displacement curve. Then, the result from different constitutive material models were plotted in a graph to compare. However, it can be seen that the stress displacement curves for the three types of material model were noticeably different. This could be probably due to the different parameters used in each model, which made it difficult to be compared. Since it could not show the differences between the Material models obviously, stress realization test was carried out to check the difference between the linear elastic behavior and viscoelastic behavior. Stress realization test were conduct was conducted by compressing the oil palm fruitlet to a specified deformation, and the deformation was held fixed for a period of time to measure the stress decay. The results are shown in the next slide. So it can be seen that when the viscoelastic effect is considered in a material model, the stress will gradually reduce over time at holding deformation. Similar results were observed when using viscohyperelastic model. The stress also reduced steadily over time at holding deformation. The graph on the right side shows the comparison of the stress time curve between the visco hyperelastic model and visco elastic model. Both curves show the visco elastic behavior, but it was observed that the reduction of stress for visco hyperelastic model is greater than the visco elastic model. This is probably due to the hyperelastic behavior, which is rubber like and can undergo large elastic deformation. A rubber like material could show complete 
recovery after being subjected to large deformation. A parametric study of the mesocup canal interface properties was also done in this project. The results show that varying the parameters such as critical stress and corrosive energy did not significantly affect the model. This is probably due to the boundary conditions defined in previous step which limit the movement of the fluids. In conclusion, this project investigated the mechanical behavior of oil pump fluid by using three different constitutive material models. The parameters were varied to investigate their effect on the stress displacement curve, and the stress realization test results show, that, show the evidence of the viscoelastic behavior of the oil pump mesocurve. The model has potential in oil pump fruits maturity detection application, but experimented work is required to validate the model and also to provide a better understanding on the mechanical behavior, such as the firmness of the fruitlet. A correlation could be made to relate the mechanical properties to the maturity level of the fruitlet. For example, when a lot sensor is used to touch the fruitlet, it will show the maturity level based on the firmness of the fruitlet. And that's all from me. Thank you.